All right, let's lead on on crude. We know what to do here, first of all. If you're a new trader in the room, pay attention because this is the same exact setup that we trade in the trading room every single day. Had a beautiful run yesterday on the same setup. Let's take a look at it, first of all. There's three primary charts that we trade, uh, two primary charts we trade off of for support and resistance. Let's break down our methodology first real quick. This won't be a very long video. Our methodology states this. We have a market profile chart to your far left. Now market profiles work for 31 years. It continues to find support and resistance and it just caught this swing high right there for a stack level. And I'll go over that in a second, why traders took that short. In fact, give me a why any traders in the room that took that short right here. Who took that short? Who took that short? Give me a why. Good job, Ron. Good job, David. Good job, Don, Lada, Charles, Terrence, Matt, Reed, Lawrence, Kwame. All right. Veronica. Traders knew to take that short for a reason. I have market profile. Market profiles work for 31 years, and it continues to find support and resistance. There's no other indicator or strategy that I've found, and I've seen hundreds, if not thousands, of indicators come and go. And nothing can find, in my opinion, support and resistance like market profile. Now, on this black chart, I have two profiles. Price profile has been around since 1985, and volume profile has been around since 1994. So these two profiles show up on this black chart and they give a support resistance. You want these two profiles to overlap or come within a couple ticks of each other. Now I have the solid lines are more volume based. The most important one is this control point right here, this blue line. It is a major inflection point. And on any market, it likes to break and retest. You can see it broke, retested almost to the exact tick. It does this on any given day for the last 31 years on any market. This works on all futures, all stocks, all uh, currency right across the board. You can see the market, we have a trend filter built into this black chart. So the first thing we do is we look at this long-term moving average, which is magenta moving average. Now moving averages to me are worthless. You can't buy and sell off of them. Traders that buy and sell are not consistent because they're lagging moving averages. Market profile is actually the inside of the market, is actually showing you where support and resistance actually is with order flow. So it's not lagging. So if that uh, moving average, longer term moving average, the magenta is angled down, we are selling retracements only. So my traders had just posted that they took this short, the members, they took it short for a reason. They recognize that the trend filter's down, so they're only selling retracements. We only sell retracements with trend. There's only a counter trend trade that we do, our corrective wave, that happens around 15 to 20% of the time, and I'll go over that in a minute. But the bottom line, almost all our trades, 80 to 85% are trend retracements against market profile. So our trend filter is down. If our trend filter is down, we do not buy. We look for sell retracements. Now I have these market profiles. Let's go over them real quick. Let me break this down for you real quick. The control point's the most important right here as far as generating these different levels. That shows the most volume that's been traded since this morning. And so what we want to do is, is we know that support and resistance by itself. We also know that there's an LVA low value area that automatically posts right here and these adjust two or three times a morning. My solid lines. Then they lock themselves in and then we trade off of them. My high value area is in red. So high value is a solid red line. It caught the high of the market this morning. High value is in red. Control points in blue. Low value is in green. And that is more volume based. It's been around since 1994. More price based are these dotted lines. More control in the blue. More more HVA in the red dots, LVA in the green dots. What we want to try to do then, guys and gals, is we want to try and see when these profile levels overlap on this black chart. What my traders recognized is we had an overlap in price at this level, and the control was just above that also. We have a huge sell retracement between 22 to 26. 
So 22 to 26, my traders recognized that they need to sell this retracement with negative market delta over here. Now, what I have on this white chart, you probably ask, well, what's the white chart for over here? Now, I just told you I got price and volume over on this chart, price and volume profile. Volume more solid lines, price more dotted lines. The dotted lines, they are static. They don't move. My volume will adjust with price, find, trying to find value, lock itself in, and then you sell or buy the retracement. Check this out over here, though. Check out my white chart. I have developing profile also. The blue is a point of control, right, Manny? So what I'm doing, the point of control stopped the market almost to the tick. So and that happens a lot. Sometimes it'll stop it to the exact tick. It did it yesterday too. So if you look at, uh, you look over here on the white chart, I got an LVA and I got an HVA on the chart also. So I got three profiles that I deal with. I got my LVA over here, low value area, and a high value on this white chart. This is developing profile. And then I got my price and volume over here. So I have three profiles that I'm trying to see where stack within a couple ticks of each other. So if you look at this white chart, it said that that is a stack level also because developing profile was at 23. My volume pro my my control is at 22 on price. My control is at 26 on volume. My volume LVA was at 22. I got four times stack level in my previous uh level with here was 23 also. I got four times area stacked on this retracement. All right. You're you're gonna have good trades just with two times area stacked. Just with this alone, these two right here stacked over top of each other, you got a heck of a trade. All right. The reason the market stopped up here, it was two times stacked up here also is control and HVA, high value area. So these are stacked levels. You want to see where Profile stacks over top profile. That's the reason this has been working for 31 years, the same exact setup. And I don't care what you trade, S&P 500, Dow Minis, um, Dow, uh, you know, NASDAQ futures, Russell 2000, doesn't matter, same thing. So what we have here is, is we have a downtrending market. The market broke below low value area. We don't buy low value in a downtrend. We're smarter than that. We only sell retracements. We're not buying profile. We're letting it break. We're letting it retest. So when it broke, you look for the first retest into the stack level. Then I want you to come over and concentrate on my market delta. Market profile sets a trade up, but market delta gets us in. I want to see a major order imbalance right at the market delta. Right? I mean at the market profile when I come within two ticks of my stack levels. Market delta, anything over... 200 on crude oil. I only use my five sim Renko. I have a proprietary Renko bar we use. Anything over 200 is a major sell imbalance. We got 485. That is a huge order sell imbalance. 485. So you enter the order. Your stop loss is always two ticks above that swing high after entry on market delta. We're not risking more than $150 or 15 ticks on gold or crude oil. But after you enter your order, you can adjust your stop two ticks below that swing high, and your average trade should come out to around $120 loss, usually $120 to $130 depending on slippage. We don't risk more than 15 ticks on crude or gold. They're $10 per tick. But your average trade is going to be about $120 loss. We're trying to get six, $700, $800 on the trade. What we do is we take our first position off. We scale out. The best way to do it is the next profile you scale out or symmetry dots over here. So the short was right here at this level, right there. Your exit on half of your position is right here, two ticks above symmetry. Symmetry was 4901. You can put your order in at 4902. That's the first target off. We're going to see if this runner can now run. We now have a free trade on our hands to see if we can get four, five, six hundred dollars on the next trade, and it's free. But I want you to recognize something. I want you to recognize something that these two charts feed off each other. This chart J signal is independent by itself. And this chart on the market profile is independent by itself. So, but they feed off each other. Because if these, this profile stacks over top this profile on a retracement, it gives you major resistance. Consequently, 
without this black chart, if I break down through low value, the market's weakened. I can look to take the first retracement back up with the red fib dot with negative market delta. And that's exactly what happened. I've had three profiles that came together, four with the control point up here, at a stack level with negative market delta calling the reversal. But these are separate all by themselves. I could trade off this black chart all by itself and trade market delta and do very well. Vice versa, I could trade off just J signal and wait for a break inside or outside of HVA or LVA, first retracement, market delta all by itself and do very, very well. You put those two together, this trade setup came at the same price point in time. I had a trade set up here, break LVA, first retracement, red fib dot all by itself. I had a trade all by itself in the black chart, stack level, four, uh, four times area stack, three right here it's at the same price point in time. So that told me right there by itself is that I had a trade that was setting up all by itself as far as that level goes too. But they came together for ultimate confluence. And look at this, look at this market. It's tanking, man. It's tanking. Do you think this is just by luck that this happens on a daily basis? We got almost 400 videos on the same exact setup. Did I send these charts out, right, to you guys on the same exact setup? You think it's just by luck it stopped right in the zone? You think it's just by luck? No, it's order flow. You've got mail. You must understand order flow. You do that and you're ahead by 99% of the traders out there that have no clue about price action. You can't trade moving averages. You can't trade them moving average convergence divergence. All these trading rooms, they change that to a different name. It's lagging. You have to trade order flow. Order flow is where it's at. Market profile doesn't lie to you. It's telling you exactly where the order flow is. Market delta is not going to lie to you. It's telling you there's a major sell imbalance right at this swing high. This is information. This is the inside of the market, right? When I was a small order execution trader, I went against institutional traders. I went against prop firms, hedge funds, head to head. The one thing I learned back in the 1990s is that you must trade the tape. You must trade order flow. If you ask Tom, our floor trader, ex-floor trader in the room, right? It's all about order flow. That's all it is. And you understand that, and you understand that, then you start understanding these swing highs and swing lows. It's not just by chance that it breaks through low value area and stops almost to the exact tick on this chart. It's not by just by chance it breaks through low value, stops right at the control point. That's just not by chance, guys and gals. That is order flow. And you'll see hundreds, if not thousands, of trades on all markets the same way. Our job as traders is to sell retracements and downtrends, buy retracements and uptrends. If the market's flat, I have a way to trade that. I sell the high, I buy the low on market profile, then I let the, break, let the market break out with market builder. All right? You do not trade unless you're into market profile in this room. Market delta means nothing to me without setting up with market profile. So the methodology, before I turn this off with Gerald, market profile sets it up. And then Jay yesterday, you think it's just by luck today, it went down, retested the control point, and tanked. Do you think it's by luck today, that yesterday, that it broke the control point, retested it, and then tanked? Or by luck that it broke the low value area, retested it, and tanked. Or came up to the high value area, retested it, and tanked. All negative market delta, negative market delta, negative market delta. Now check this out. What I want you to do is stacked areas. These were all stacked. This is stacked because a white chart agreed with both of them on there, the J signal chart. But look at this stacked area right here. This is the same exact trade that happened today up here. That's it right here. That's the trade. There's your control point. What's the trade yesterday? There's a retest of the control point. It's beautiful. It's absolutely phenomenal how accurate this is, but you got to know how to trade it. And I teach you how to do that.